Log in. Are you recording already? Yes, I am. You passed. Hey! What's quick fit? Live and direct. It's too much to be happy about. So smile and flex. Let's go. Hey, I just came back from my special therapy job and I was thinking it would be a great idea to come to you guys and share some tips and some suggestions and some ideas on how to pass the MBCLT coded exam. I've seen a lot of videos out there. Uh, a lot of it is going to depend on your learning style, uh, the amount of time that you have before you're taking the actual exam, just a lot of different factors. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience on the different things that really helped me to study and pass the MBCLT exam. But first, I think it would be better if I jumped into something a little more comfortable. <laughs> Wow, no, <laughs> this is not what I was talking about. Hold on, let me try one more time. I'm more comfortable now, and I'm gonna get right into it. So, as I mentioned in the introduction, the way that you prepare for this exam is going to depend on how much time you have to study for this exam, as well as are you a visual, audio, or more interactive type of learner. Now, going back to the amount of time that you have, I know a lot of people would rather take it as soon as possible so that they can ensure that all of the information is retained, whereas other individuals will like to study and brush up on more of the material. In my case, I actually had some tuition to pay off before I could actually release my transcript and apply for the exam. So I had more of the three to six month range. So what I did was I, and I'll get into that a little bit later of the way that I prepare for it because I had a longer time. And I'll also get into how you can prepare for it if you have a shorter amount of time. So as far as the setup of the exam, there's 200 questions and you have four hours to take the exam. So that means if you do 50 questions per hour, you will end off with 40 minutes left to go over any of the questions that you struggle with or that you had any issues with. And the great thing about this exam is that you actually have the option to flag questions for later. And I would also highly recommend to answer every single question because you are not penalized for any wrong answers. You only get points for the correct answer. So even if you do not know the answer, I would recommend selecting the best one to your knowledge. Also, you have four hours. If you have to take a restroom break, you do not get to stop the timer. Oh boy, oh. So if you have to take a restroom break, I would highly recommend to do it as quickly as possible or use the restroom beforehand so it does not cut into your time. And also another great topic that my mom actually suggested that I'm very thankful for is, and you'll notice this on the questions that have four options. Usually there are two outliers two questions that you know are absolutely not correct. Now, these are used to not necessarily throw you off. Uh, you can actually kind of turn those questions around to your benefit because they have an option on this exam where you can cross out those options. So you can kind of remove those from your mind and not even think about those. Those questions that you know are absolutely not right, go ahead and use that function to cross them out. So now you have a 50-50 chance of getting that question right. And you only focus on the two answers that are similar to each other. And that helped me out tremendously. So once you have those two answers that are similar to each other, you go ahead and use the your knowledge, of course, and the uh, order of elimination to see which one is better than the other. Because most of the time, both of them have somewhat similar characteristics that are true, but what is the best option for the scenario given? And a very important point to mention is to always go with your gut. 
And what I mean by that is, if you use the proper process of elimination by eliminating the two questions that you know are absolutely not right, you study properly, go with your gut, because a lot of times you'll change that answer choice to something else that your first mind was not telling you. So be confident in your answer. If you used every tactic that I've mentioned as far as, you know, going back to it, if you spend too much time looking for it, you eliminate the two outliers, go with your gut and trust in the knowledge of all the time that you have put into studying. So the MBCLT CODA exam includes three main subject matters that are included within the questions of the exam. One of them includes the OT process which deals more with the referral, evaluation, and interview components. The second section deals more so with the interventions. So this is treatments, interventions, specific populations that are serviced. And then the last component, which only takes up a very small percentage of the exam, is gonna be professional standards. This is going to be dealing with service management, ethical, and legal type of components. Now, let's get into the actual books that I used to pass the exam. We have this one here, which is commonly referred to as simply just the purple book. It's actually the Coda Examination Review and Guide. There are several different versions of this one, I believe, an earlier version and a later version, but this is used if you have a short amount of time to prepare because it's more condensed, it's straight to the point. Then over here, we have the Therapy Ed National OTA Certification Exam Review and Study Guide by Fleming and Castleby. Okay, this is used if you actually have a little bit more time because it goes more into depth. Now, the main difference between these two, other than the fact that this is more condensed and straight to the point, and this one actually goes into more detail, another big difference is the fact that there are three computerized practice exams here, which I found to be very informative as well as beneficial because it actually simulates the actual exam. You have four hours to take the exam. Well, actually scratch that. It allows you to go over four hours, which helped me because the first time I took one of these computerized exams from the back of the book, it took me about five hours. So it showed me that I needed to work on my time management better. By the time I finished the last computerized exam at the back of this book, I had got my timing down well enough to do it within four hours. This simulates the exam very nicely. In the purple book, they tell you a condensed answer of why it was the correct one. But in this book here, the therapy ed, it not only tells you the condensed answer, it refers you to the number and the page within the book where the information is found. So not only is it simply telling you what the right answer is with a quick snapshot of why it is right, this book is gonna tell you what page to flip through to go in detail of why the answer was correct. Now, this book is very, very, very detailed. So realistically, you're not gonna be able to flip it through it page through page unless you had, like my example, three to six months to prep for it. Now, if you have a shorter amount of time, I'm not saying that you always have to use the purple book because if you have a short amount of time, you can use this one as, as well. Just keep in mind that you will have to somewhat skim over and get the key points. Because if you go page through page through each domain, it's gonna take you quite a while because it's very detailed. All right, one last option that I would like to share with you guys is the MBCLT CODA 
Premium, which is an application that you can get on the iPhone or Android. And I really enjoyed this. This is an application for individuals who are more so on the go. So they don't necessarily have the time to sit down and look inside of the books, but they would like to do like a question of the day or a quick 10 quiz. Now, but there's also an option where you can go, I'll go to that option for you guys, where you go to the study tab. And as I mentioned, you have a quick 10 or a question of the day, or you have a time quiz, which you can go up to 100 questions. One of the main things that I really enjoy about the app is that you see here, you have the weakest subject quiz and the missed questions quiz. Now, the therapy ad book does a pretty good, a pretty good job of showing which domains you're struggling with. In the purple book, you have to kind of gauge it mentally and remember which ones you, you know, struggle with with the most and which one you're excelling at. This application specifically tells you which domain. It even gives you a percentage here. If you go to the stats, it gives you a percentage of, of each domain so that you can see which domain you're struggling with the most. And it actually tallies all of your incorrect questions so that you can just strictly do an entire quiz of all your missed questions, which I really enjoy about that. I would not recommend that you use that solely just because it does not go in depth as much as <coughs> this book here. So I've talked to you guys about the subject matter included in the exam, the amount of questions, uh, the different strategies to use, but a very, very important part to also mention is the mental aspect of it. You want to be very calm. It's meditation. We will connect to the earth to ground ourselves and clear the space of any blocks that may hinder our place in the world. And relax and think positive thoughts about this exam. Of course, that's gonna come along with you feeling confident because you've prepared properly. But that confidence and that peace of mind and the mental aspect is gonna come from you speaking positivity into this exam. Now, of course, you can't do, you know, you can't have faith without the work. So you can't just say, oh, I'm gonna pass but not study. But if you pass, if you study and you put in the hours and you set a part time and you strategically planned out this thing, just encourage yourself know that you are smart enough because think about it you have to pass this occupational therapy program to even be eligible to sit for this exam so i want you to have faith and confidence in yourself you can do it you've prepared enough and also don't cram until the day now now you can brush up and study the day or two before but don't wait to study and, and and brush up on everything and do your you know first practice exam the day before give yourself ample amount of time that's going to give you the confidence and the poise to know that i'm going to come in here and i'm going to do what i am destined to do i am going to be a great occupational therapy practitioner i believe in you guys i really do you can do this and along with that, you want to, of course, have a great nutritional meal beforehand. Keep in mind, you're going to be sitting for this exam for four hours. No snacks are allowed. So you want to have something maybe 30 minutes to an hour before the exam. Maybe not anything right before the exam, like 10 to 15 minutes, because it may make you a little bit sluggish, especially if it's high in fat or sodium. Three. Two, one, go. So you want to have you a good nutritious meal that has a great balance of veggies and lean proteins and some of your whole wheat carbohydrates. Uh, I would recommend something around your usual calorie intake. Uh, if you have a usually a 2,000 calorie type diet, I would say eat about maybe... 
one third to a half of those entire calories because you're gonna need some energy, especially with those carbs to keep you, to keep you mentally focused as well as to, to keep your stomach from growling <laughs> and just for you to stay focused. So I believe in you guys, prepare very well. Get you some great sleep the day before. I would say anywhere between seven to eight hours. In anything less than maybe five or four may be counterproductive because you may be scum to become too sleepy. And also, as we all know, sometimes if we get extremely more than that seven to eight, that can also cause a, a groggy type effect. So if you can, seven to eight hours, eat you a healthy, nutritious meal, maybe 30 minutes to an hour before, go in there with that positive mindset that I have studied and that this is for me. I'm gonna pass this exam. Speak that into your life. Speak that into this exam and you got it. So if you found this video beneficial or if you just wanna show some love to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you like, shared, and subscribe. Comments below of what type of things you would like to see, what type of videos that you liked and that you didn't like. I'm open for any suggestions. Let's get it. Smiling flicks. Smiling flicks. <laughs>